I'm glad to see you. I have some questions because I heard that you have done glyphosate uh, validations for groundwater. Uh, yes, I did it a few years ago. So I'm doing my tomatoes uh, and analyzing tomatoes and I'm doing glyphosate. So okay. I have some questions. Yeah, how far are you? Well, I have done preliminary studies and literature research and it seems that everything works fine. And now I'm trying to do precision okay. and doing the planning and experiments for that. And I, because there are different guidelines and they have very different uh, suggestions. So I thought maybe you can help me a little bit. Yeah, well, we can discuss. Okay. So the first thing is about the sample. So in a laboratory we have different tomatoes already because we are doing ad ana analysis on them as well. So then we have some PT, uh, proficiency testing samples and leftovers. So can I just use those for my precision studies? Well, it's good if the samples that you use for precision evaluation are very similar to the ones that you are going to analyze later with your method. So the uh, proficiency test samples are usually very homogeneous, but your samples normally aren't. Therefore, it's better if you have some real tomatoes, for example, from a local market. So, but do I want gly to have them glyphosate in them or not? Do I have like, clean samples? Well, if you want to do precision, then it's good if the tomatoes already contain your analyte. So, these are will be really similar to the samples that you're going to analyze later. Okay, so the other question is that um, my, my results are expected to be on several orders of magnitude and usually I do two concentration levels for my regular validations. Do you think this is enough in that case? Well, if the concentrations will be over several orders of magnitude, I would suggest at least three concentrations, the high, medium and low, and maybe even the limit of quantitation. Okay, that brings me to our next question about the parallel measurements. Because you, some guidelines have three parallel measurements, Eurocam has 15, and when you tell me to do four concentration levels and I would have to do 15 replicate measurement, that seems excessive. So maybe some practical tips on that? Well, I think you don't need to make 15 measurements with all the four concentration right away. I think you can start with five replicates. This gives already a very nice estimation of what your precision actually is. And if you need, you can do additional experiments later on. Okay, so what about intermediate precision? I have about a month to do the preliminary um, intermediate precision, but is, do I also need five replicates or can I reduce a little bit? Well, I think in the intermediate precision case you don't need five replicates, but it's important to keep the intermediate precision experiments also going on after your preliminary validation. And if you do the measurements on several concentrations, then in the end you will have a lot of data and you can get quite good results. Okay, well that's helpful and saved me a lot of time. Thanks. You're welcome.